Number seven then, for five marks from the specimen paper, there you go, related rates of change. What have we got? It says you've got a spherical balloon, it gives you the radius, it tells you about the surface area is increasing, that means dA by dt, and you have to find the rate at which the volume is increasing, that's dV by dt, and it tells you the two parts, which you should know anyway. The volume of a sphere is 4 upon 3 pi r cubed, and the surface area is 4 pi r squared. The other thing it told you was the radius is 10 centimetres, and the area is increasing at a rate, so it's dA by dt, of 120 pi centimetres squared, because it's an area per second. What's the rate at which the volume's changing? Well, all you're going to be doing here is playing about with differentials. Each of these little d-whatevers is called a differential, a small part of a variable, a small change in a variable. When you say dy, you mean a very small change in y. If you write dy by dx, that means how does a small change in y compare to a small change in x? So if you say dy by dx is 2, what you're really saying is dy by dx is 2 times dx. So if x changes by a small amount, y would change by twice that amount. The small change in y would be double that change. So you can play about with these differentials in the same way as variables. Differentials are just variables. So you've just got to think, how can you sugar your differentials to get what you want? And you want dv by dt. Well, this expression would give me dv by dr. So multiplying by 3, that's 4 pi r squared. Notice, that's the surface area. And in this one, dA by dr would be 8 pi r. So if I want dV by dt, I could just say, well, I could make that a dV by a dr, because I've got that, and multiply it by a dr by dt, which I don't know. But then I've got information over here. In this one, I could find dr by dt by sugaring those about. So dr by dt should be the same as dr by dA, and then cross-multiplying dA by dT. And I know that. Now, as far as the marks are concerned, those parts would be worth one mark, but they've been allocated in different places. And rearranging your differentials is worth a mark, but they've been allocated in different places. So I'm just going to put them in here, just seems logical to put them down side by side. So I know dr by dA, because that's just this upside down. So that'll be one over. 8 pi, and I know that r is 10, so times 10, and I know dA by dt is 120 pi, so that all just cancels down to the 10s go, the pi's goes 12 over 8, that goes down to 3 up and 2. So dr by dt is 3 up and 2, and that's worth a mark. You can also put the units in if you like, centimetres per second. Which means I can now go back to the one I really wanted, which is this one. So what's dv by dt? Well, it's dv by dr, which is 4 pi r squared, so that's 10 squared. And dr by dt, I know, is 3 upon 2. That was worth a mark for this rearrangement here and bringing this one in. And the last mark's just going to be putting it all together then. So what does that all tidy up to? Well, I've got 100, 300, doubled is to 600. 600 pi centimetres cubed per second cubed, because it's a volume. And that was the last mark. Now, you could have done this more or less in one line using implicit differentiation, simply by saying this. Well, V is 4 upon 3 pi r cubed. So, differentiating with respect to t straight away, which, which is what you want, would mean differentiating this with respect to t, which you don't know. However, you could still do that by saying the derivative of r cubed, being a function of a function of t, would be 3r squared times dr by dt. The same way that you do when you're differentiating y squared, because you're quite used to that one, you say, well, that'll be 2y, and then times dy by dx. So, I'll just tidy this up. You've got 4 pi r squared times, now you don't know dr by dt, but you could rearrange that to dr by dA, which you could find, times dA by dt, which you know. So that means I just need this connection. So I still need this, A equals, whoops, 4 pi r squared, 
So dA by dr will be 8 pi r. Popping it all together, I've got 4 pi r squared. dr by dA is the reciprocal, so this will appear underneath over 8 pi r times dA by dt. At any point I could put numbers in, of course. Now that just cancels down to a half r. So you've got a half r dA by dt. dV by dt is a half r dA by dt. Pop in the numbers, a half of 10 times, and that one was 120 pi. And of course, five times that is 600 pi, so I'll be centimetres cubed per second.